Welcome, Aquarius. This is your mid-December heart spread. This is an eight-card reading. You can see here I've set it up ahead of time, complete with the bottom of the deck being the Two of Cups, you lucky bastards. That's a great way to start the heart spread. And it does have the shape of a heart. And I will... Uh, look at you here and the one that's on your mind that's all we're looking at this is your the one that's on your mind coming in as the world and this is you coming in with the ace of swords that could be an aquarius card so i kind of like this this is whatever before i look at anything else here you are uh basically stating your truth you know um, um not pulling any punches um they're could be a because it's Aquarius I think it's fine you know if I saw this otherwise it's um, coming into relationships with the tip of your sword like not shaking hands or hugging someone when you meet them but you know uh, let them touch your sword first before you give them a hug uh, kind of energy but I think with you it's more about uh, really being yourself really being aligned and let and stating it you know communication thoughts uh, um, no, you're, you, what you think um, and how you act um, are the same thing, you know, from thought uh, to action, um, you're in complete alignment here with yourself. Um, and that right there is a fantastic way uh, to go into a relationship. I kind of do see this as going in. Um, so this is someone that would come into a relationship uh, with uh, strong boundaries, good boundaries. Um, perhaps having learned that from the past, you know, perhaps comes naturally to you. You got Aquarius Venus or something, right? Or that can be an Aquarius energy. Uh, you don't tend to get uh, overly uh, um, mesmerized uh, by ephemeral feelings that are associated more with the Neptunian energy, with then Uranus, the higher minds, like critical, cuts through things. Now, your person's coming in, where they're at in around relationships is when you have, I think, this uh, major con of the world, you're going to get it all in the sunlight. And in, uh, this is the Klimt Dart deck. Um, you see here that this depicts this pregnant woman. You have to take that into account. Now, here's the Two of Cups. This is the overall energy on the bottom of the deck. I just want to add. So, you know, I, I see a relationship here. I see a couple that's, you know, been physical. Um, it's a very uh, um, kind of profound relationship. Um, this person, if, you know, if not like something to do with a literal pregnancy, um, it, it shows really with the world when it's in this position, they've leveled up, you know, um, probably recently. Uh, maybe by somehow when they left their last relationship, because this could be, you know, in terms of career, it's uh, you graduate from college, graduate, uh, get... Uh, your degree, uh, you get a raise, you get promoted, you know, you know uh, that kind of thing. And you rise up to this uh, a, a, a different level, a higher level than where you were before, completing, you know, they say a cycle. This is the last card of the Major Arcana. Then comes the Fool. Okay, so now you don't, it uh, comes to mind right there, you don't really get to be the world by fooling around. So off hands, though, I would say this, this works okay uh, because, you know, someone that has a world, they're not playing. They're not bullshitting. They're not, they're just, you know, they got, they can back it up. So if you are interested, Aquarius, in this person, um, then, you know, they're solid right out of the chute, right? And I think you're going to know that. That might be where, where the attraction is right off the bat, you know. Uh, Sapo, Sapien, <laughs> uh, Sapo file comes to mind, you know. Um, you know, we, you did, really kind of we all are. We have our minds. You always engage someone with your mind when you're, you know, whether you're going to engage them with your body or not. Mind's the first thing. Now, I just got to tell you, your person's solid as fuck. I mean, uh, really, really solid. You know, um, um, you, they've got uh, the world, and then this is how they're approaching you how they feel about you not really approaching you is where how do they really feel about you queen of pinnacles um so and then i just want to say this is advice from spirit uh, because this is pretty unusual you know 78 cards that they would line up like this this is advice from spirit for them and how to act with you 
which basically the advice for them to how to act is exactly how they've been doing. Your person's solid. They are what they are. They mean what they mean. Um, they have the kind of mastery, self-mastery. They are the king. They're, they're divine masculine, divine feminine. This is all them is in alignment. And if there's any advice from spirit towards how to deal with the relationship with you, it's for them to lean more on their divine masculine energy and how they engage you, okay? Whatever that might mean for the cross watcher of Aquarius. Now, w here's how you're feeling about them, the hanged man. Now, God help me for using a football analogy, but the hanged man sometimes, it's, it's like when they do a timeout in football, you know, it's like timeout. And you do a timeout because the other side's lined up and you're like, holy shit, what are they doing? This doesn't make any sense. I don't like it. I got a bad feeling about it. Timeout, timeout, timeout. That's like the underlying feeling of it, you know. But it is uh, wanting to see something from a different perspective. But I often say when I see this uh, hangman in this position particularly, okay, this is someone, maybe you don't know it, you're seeing red flags. You're just seeing a lot of red flags in... Um, I get a good focus on this. Uh, yeah, you can't really um, not be aware of this. I'm guessing if this if this is your reading. That must resonate, um, and so it's making you hesitate and back off from them. It's odd though because uh, I, other than you know, I can imagine there could be some controlling behavior. Maybe um, you know they're a brick wall. I'll tell you one thing, Aquarius, about this person. Okay. Um, what you see is what you get here with this person. It, they're not going to hear change. They're, they're probably an earth sign. It could be a Taurus. I mean, who knows like that, but it's got earth all over, right? So earth, 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 sun, moon, rising, and Venus. But whatever it is, you know, you should probably go in any relationship right like this anyway. Don't expect people to change. That's, that's number one. But I'm just saying this person, for good or bad, they're going to be the same way 10, 20, 30 years till they die this person um, so what you see is what you get and you know you're probably being very honest very open uh, very decisive you, you probably feel like you can see like right now Mercury's on my Sun you know that kind of energy where you feel like you can just see right through things Look at the bright Sun uh, shining here now but this is very interesting because you have the page of wands now this is your advice from spirit uh, guys and I gotta tell you, with this as advice from spirit, I feel like this is lighten up, lighten up, and um, it, it's kind of like bring some emotion into it. It's not a cup, but at least you know. I'm telling you, this is advice from spirit. This is saying, um, you know, have some fun. Hey, maybe have sex, enjoy it, really have fun. Fifth house stuff, romance. Let yourself go a little bit. I think that's what this is saying. This is advice from spirit, it's not my advice. I did tell a client once in an astrology reading, I said, I know, you know, you're 74, but you're very, very good shape. Sex is very important to you. You've grieved long enough. I think you might want to get out and have some sex before it's all over. <laughs> and they're like, oh, my God. So my astrologers advised me to get laid. And I said, I'm absolutely advising you to get laid. Yes. <laughs> um, this is kind of like the universe is advising you to get laid. But, you know, there's a relationship here. And you know, intimacy is all a part. Of, of physical and, and intimacy too it's not just all emotional and spiritual and everything you know um and i gotta tell you with the king of pentacles here is there advice i mean guys are just solid it's up to you it's all you know it's like they are what they are if you love them right now and you're okay and everything's good then you know you're kind of lucky okay aquarius because not everybody's built like this a lot of problems and relationships Five years down the road, they go through a different transition, and yours is another boy on a sign, and uh, t then, boom, they're all different. You know, this person's going to be the same. Yeah, they're going to be the same. So you, all, you only have to sign on once to get the same right. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is an amazing card to get here. This is a core of the heart spread. I think it's like the most important part of the heart spread. And here, this is advice for the relationship as a whole. I can't help but see the wheel here. Is the universe trying to tell you, hang in there, everything's cool. Um, this is a Jupiter card too. Jupiter's at, I think, 27 Aquarius, getting up towards Pisces. So coming when it hits that critical 29 degrees, boom, you know, and it's 
in a pretty good uh, mode right now. See what it is for you. Where's your sun? Or even right now, these last few degrees. This is all about Jupiter here, the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, but here it's not winning the lottery, guys. It's There's something going to happen here. I see like an ignition. Now you've got to ask yourself, okay, Aquarius, what does your person want? You know, look how stable they are. They don't need your money, you know. They, they don't need your resources. Um, they're, they got the world. I mean, um, what they need, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing or, any, or anything. Um, you're probably younger than them. You're very beautiful. Your mind, you have a very bright mind. Um, maybe you have your Mercury in, in Aquarius too, and, a, and a, of course Aquarius Sun. Um, and, you know, you really light them up. But there's a sexual component here too. And, you know, you're just kind of uh, uh, t being a little leery, you know. I think you might be afraid of kind of being swallowed up, you know, because it's like you're like a, uh, honestly, I don't mean, you know, I don't mean it's a bad way, but this person is large, your energy's large. And, you know, maybe there's that feeling too. One the thing about Aquarius, it does not want to be swallowed up. It's all about the group, but they, you do not like lose yourself, like say a Pisces might, you know, you know it's not, it's fixed, fixed air. No, it's not, not mutable. Our sads, like I might. You know, uh, so something's going to come here, but I believe it's saying something good is going to come. You're kind of looking over here at, at, at this Jupiter uh, wheel of fortune here. So something's going to come of you interacting and enjoying yourself. And, you know, honestly, if you're the page of wands to their king of pentacles, here's how it's going to go down. Let them take you out. Let them take you on their private jet to the island. Let them, you know, pay for dinner the weekend in a beautiful cabin somewhere or whatever, right? It's okay, you know, um, that's just, that's just kind of how it works. I mean, the overall energy here, remember, you know, you have the two of cups here. You know, there's a, a real sincere, thank God, because you don't see a lot of emotion here until you get to the king of cups. And it's like, I got the feeling like, uh, I'm trying to tell you what they get out of you, because you might be wondering, what do they get out of me? It's, it's not just sex, and it, it really isn't, you know, because here you have the outcome. It's the king of cups with the overall energy, the two of cups. They're not real emotional. They've been kind of closed down. In order to be this strong, in order to succeed, they maybe had to sacrifice their heart a little bit along the road. And now they're at some point in their life where they see you as an opportunity here to experience the emotional relationship side of themselves. They might be telling you, I haven't been in a relationship Aquarius for a while, uh, but now I'm really feeling drawn, and you you really draw me. And I think you're going to end up, this is a fantastic outcome for the heart spread here, uh, the King of Cups. Um, now, tell me, if you would, please, with this person, if you can look at your composite relationship chart, what is your ascendant in your sun? I'd be real surprised you didn't have ascendant in, in a water sign, maybe cancer, or a sun in a water sign, maybe cancer. Um, with whoever this is over here. I think it's an earth sign. Other than that, I really couldn't say here. They're solid, though. That's the main thing, you know. Um, <clears throat> and I think it, it should be reassuring to you. You're not going to lose yourself, you know. What they need out of you is, is your uh, uh, wisdom, your uh, point of view, uh, your um, truthfulness, your bluntness, maybe. Um, and you kind of open them up and allow them to kind of live again. You know, I think this person might have been closed, might have been super focused on, you know, work, career. And, um, you know, that's a, so you have a lot of meaning to them. You mean this like to them. That's how they're holding on to you, you know. Thank you, Aquarius.